have called for this press conference to keep you updated about the day-to-day -day events of the political campaigns that are taking place in the state and also to keep you updated about the central leader's visit. We thought, uh, we, we thought that it would be more convenient if we called for a press conference like this instead of issuing press statement from our side. So we have called for a press conference at a short notice and we are so very grateful that you could turn up once again. Um, with me on the uh, dais is uh, Mr. Kashito Kiba. He is uh, the spokesperson for BJP Nagaland. And uh, on my left here is Mr. Hosheto Awomi, who is the Yuva Mocha State President. And I am Sapalunyeka, the convener for State uh, Media Cell BJP Nagaland. Uh, today we will be focusing mainly on the uh, vision statement of uh, 2023 for BJP. At the moment, as we all know, and we could see so many achievements done by the government, at the present government, I would like to share some of the, uh, the, the schemes and flagship programs that has been in, implemented in the state. And our focus to develop the state not only the state of Nagaland, but the BJP government is uh, focusing to develop the Northeast state in general. First of all, BJP government has sanctioned uh, 1,850 crores under the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yajana, which we call uh, 55 houses has been built up under the uh, present government. And we also have uh, 2.1 lakh farmers has been provi uh, provided financially, financially assistance of uh, 6,000 per annum uh, with the word of uh, 316 crores under the flagship program of uh, PM Kisan Suman Nedi scheme. And also in medical health insurance, 3.0 lakh beneficiaries has been benefited under the Ayushman Bharat, as we all know, scheme. And also around 92,000 92, free LPG cylinders has been provided under the PM Ujala Yojana scheme. And also like 28,000 women has been provided with financial assistance of uh, 5,000. 5,000 with a total of uh, rupees 13 crores under the PM Mantru uh, Vadana Yajuna. And also, we have so many schemes which has been implementing and it will be implemented in the, there in the days to come. Around 14 lakhs peop, uh, people, beneficiaries, has been provided with free Russian under the Prime, Prime Minister Garib Kalyan Anna Yajona. We we can see and the people, the, the, the beneficiaries in Nagaland are the witness. Every month we are getting free Russians. So which is uh, never before we could see and our people are enjoying with this scheme. And also like uh, there are so many schemes but the most important schemes in Nagaland is 15 national highway projects has been developed with, with a cumulative length of uh, about 266 kilometer has been covered with the word of uh, 4,127 crores. And Nagaland is also witnessing the second railway station at Shokhubi which has been al already inaugurated. Half of the railway track is functioning and still under, uh, the, the construction is uh, undergoing to reach Zibza. So which is also the biggest achievements for the state of Nagaland. And uh, I will just say a few, there are so many, but uh, for today's, uh, there are other coverage, uh, other uh, achievements and prospect of uh, the BJP party is there. So our friends also will say something about the, the achievements and so many uh, aspects. So around 1,000, uh, 1 lakh, 1.3 lakhs household has been provided 
with electricity making La Na Nagaland a 100% electrified state in 2019 under the Saubhaya scheme. And also Nagaland has been allo allotted a total of rupees 2020 crores for the development of tourism sites under the Swadish Darshan and Prasad scheme from 2018 till 21. So we have other manifesto for the next uh, years, for eight years to come, that we will circulate and we will uh, dispatch to all the medias today. And as for my part, uh, this is uh, what I would like to share, the achievements of the BJP government in Nagaland. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Brother Kashito. I would like to highlight a little on the uh, political events that are taking place today. Uh, today, uh, our national spokesperson and uh, in charge of Nagland, the Prabari Sri Nalin Koliji and uh, the Honorable Union Minister of State, John Barlaji, are campaigning in Longkim Chari for our BJP candidate, Sirkong Q Santam, and in Alontaki for Temjem Imna Along. Our General Secretary Organization and in charge of Manipur and Nagaland State, Sri Abe Giriji and uh, our Vice President Hure Zeland are campaigning in Twinsang for our BJP uh, candidate. Uh, that is the update that I will give for now. As the State President of Bijawayam Nagaland, I would like to highlight the youth empowerment the BJP will bring forth during this for the for all sections of the youths of the state. So let me begin with employment and skill development. We will provide two lakh self-employment opportunities in the next five years through the establishment of the software technology park, agro processing, textiles, MSMEs, tourism, etc. We will establish Digital India Startup Hub in each district with one with one center of excellence in India state. We will establish a state testing agency which will conduct recruitment drive for government job jobs in a transparent manner and ensure equal opportunity for all. We will conduct regular rec recruitment test for the appointment of the government staff at the grade three and grade four levels. We will establish Nagaland Entrepreneurship Development Authority for training and promoting entrepreneurship in every district. We will expand the scope of the Nagaland Employment Portal to connect companies with the youth, thereby provide employment listings in Nagaland. An employment app will be launched with the same services. We will provide free coaching to the government for the government job, uh, to the government job aspirants in their preparations for exams like UPSC, NPSC, SSC, banking, etc. We will invest 500 crores to launch the Nagaland Skill Development University to train the youth and make them job ready in the field of new edge technologies such as artificial intelligence, virtual reality, drones, robotics, etc. The next point is sports infrastructure. We will invest 100 crores to promote indigenous sports and organize statewide competitions. We will introduce the Dr. Tali Meron Ao <coughs> Sports Scholarship under which will recognize aspiring, aspiring sports persons from the state and provide them with need-based financial assistance of up to five lakhs. We will fast track the ongoing construction of multipurpose stadium, stadiums in seven districts and invest 111 crores to set up mini stadiums with gyms in all the blocks of the state. We will invest 50 crores to provide state-of-the-art sports facilities across government schools and colleges. 
the next point is youth welfare. <coughs> we will launch the Nagaland student credit schemes with a corpus of 500 crores, which will provide zero interest education loans of up to 10 lakhs to all needy students. We will invest 70 crores to established Naga men and women student hostel for those pursuing higher education in all the metro cities of our country. Quality education. <coughs> we will expand the scope of the midday meal scheme by providing the scheme benefits till class 12th. We will provide digital tablets to all the meritorious students of classes 10th and 11th. We will invest 200 crore crores for promoting STEAM education. Additionally, we will establish Atal thinking, Tinkering Labs in all government schools. We will establish communication skills and soft skills labs in all government schools and colleges. Education infrastructure. We will invest 100 crores to improve the physical infrastructure such as the availability of electricity, drinking water, proper sanitation, etc. Facilities in all the government schools of the state. We will expedite the Lighthouse Project to enhance the systematic transformation in Netherlands, teaching cadre, enhance the governance and management of its schools, and boost students' learning outcomes. We will open new senior secondary schools in the state as per requirement. We will expedite the renovation of 100 government schools under PM Shri. We will fast track the construction of construction and oper operationalization of the Eklavia model schools in the state. Last but not the least, the higher education. We will work in conjunction with the Union Minister of Education to set up premier institutions like IIT, IIM, and IISER in Nagaland. We will establish Dr. Imkong Limba Ao State University to improve the access to the quality of higher education. We will set up a state sports university with all the required infrastructures and human resources to produce athletes of global standards. <coughs> we established we will establish the uh, we established the stats first veterinary science college and will invest 200 crores to establish a new veterinary science university offering both vocational and degree courses. We will fast track the construction of government polytechnics in Kifri and Longland and ensure the moder modernization of existing polytechnic polytechnics with an investment of 10 crores focusing on all round development of the student in all state run polytechnics we will establish new engineering colleges and uh, with an investment of 100 crores as per the requirements in the state which with a focus on imparting knowledge and application of new edge technology such as artificial intelligence virtual reality drones robotics so there are so many packages for the youths to empower the youths so uh, I'd, I'd like to give this message to the youth be pre prepared for this coming election and we have to take this as a challenge as a good opportunity to vote for the youth empo empowerment so that once the bjp is voted to power ndpp and bjp is voted to power Definitely, youth empowerment will be a reality. So, I'd like to urge all the youths of the state to please vote for BJP. Yeah, thank you. The BJP will introduce the Nidono Angami Women Welfare Scheme of providing a bond of 50,000 on the birth of a girl child under which each female student will receive 3,000 in class 6, 5,000 in class 9, 7,000 in class 11 and 12 respectively, two lakhs to unmarried female <coughs> students after completing their graduation. We will also focus on providing free 
of course, quality education to all female students from KG to PG. The BJP will also launch the CM Free Scotty Scheme to provide free Scotty to meritorious college going female students. Social and economic empowerment. We shall initiate the Temsula Ao Empowerment Mission to encourage the formation of more women SSGs and provide them with a credit linkage. We will also provide a market linkage to women SSGs, FPOs and entrepreneurs by trading online portals and outlets across the state. We will start all women-run canteens at all district headquarters and important marketplaces to provide meals at subsidized rent. We will also uh, focus on providing a one-time grant of 50,000 to all women getting recruited as Agniva under the Agnipat Yojana. We will also focus on conducting quarterly one-stop on the sport drive exclusively for women in all villages. Here, women can seek uh, and help uh, legal advice uh, relating to government schemes. We will also work to provide two free of course LPG cylinders to all Uchwala beneficiaries every year. The BJP will also increase the widow, single mother and all age women pension from uh, an amount to 1,000 per month. For the safety of women in mind, the BJP has come up with this policy. We will establish the Women Warrior Battalion, the state's first all women police battalion. We will also try to set up a dedicated desk operated by women officials in every police station to tackle crime against women. These are some of the welfare schemes that we have in mind to reach out to our women. And um, with uh, all these things in mind, I hope that the women folks of Nagaland will also come forward to support our initiative, which are being made available for every one of us. And uh, with this, uh, I appeal to everyone, every uh, public, every masses, to come forward and support BJP and vote for BJP <coughs> on, 27, uh, on 27th February 2023. Before we go any further, I want to up, uh, keep you updated about uh, tomorrow's uh, program. That is 17th February 2023. We have some very, very important VIPs uh, coming. So uh, I would like to keep you updated on this. Tomorrow, uh, we have uh, Union Minister Law and Justice, Kiran Rijiju. He will be coming to attend uh, a meeting at 44 Ponchin SE and uh, address a public relay in Longwa public ground. He will also attend a, a, a meeting in 41 Tizit Assembly Constituency with Minister Paiwan and uh, uh, thereafter to uh, a meeting at Paiwan's residence. Uh, we have also our Union Minister uh, Sonowalji, who will be uh, going to Woka with uh, our Deputy Chief Minister Y. Patton. <coughs> the meeting uh, will be in Woka Town, yeah, in Woka Town, uh, Mon Town, and uh, yes, Mon Town and Mon, uh, Mon uh, Public Ground, respectively. We have also our National uh, General Secretary B. L. Santosh, who will be visiting the state. He will be visiting the. Uh, he, he will be visiting Twinsan, Mokochun, Zinghepoto, and then back to Dimapur on <coughs> the 18th. These are the uh, VIP visits that um, uh, we want to update you. Especially for Sh Eastern Sh Nagaland, Eastern Nagaland, Eastern Nagaland Development Board for the holistic development of the region will be implemented very soon. And also special package will be provided for the development of Eastern Nagaland. Uh, uh, basing on the proportion of the population for the Eastern Nagaland. So this is also a very special news for the people of Eastern Nagaland as BJP is seriously working on it. Thank you. I would like to make a statement regarding the uh, Congress. The media coordinator Mahima Sin who has uh, branded the manifesto of the BJP of the void of any reality. Here, uh, in this case, we all know that Congress has been in ruling for more than 15 years, and we have not seen any visible development or progress during their regime. And after the BJP come to power, within this short span of time, within 10 years' time, we have seen massive development under the BJP. Now, when they, the Congress wanted to point fingers at us and 
called our manifesto, our vision documents as devoid of any truth, I challenge the Congress people to bring up their manifesto for debate with us.